But here we have a bike grip which is in a pretty bad shape. The rubber is breaking off uh, and have got sticky which needs replacement. But as you know this is a 3D printing related channel so you know what to expect. Let's start by taking some measurements of the handle. The internal diameter of the handle is the most crucial part. Uh, we are taking it exactly what the size of the handle is to make sure that it fits tightly and securely. Once all the measurements are taken, uh, we start designing it. We are using Fusion 360 to make it. So here it is, the designing is complete and it looks great. Uh, now we have to slice it. We are using a slicer called Cura. Uh, once the .stl file is sliced, uh, it is converted into a g-code and then we start printing the part. Here are some print details on the screen if you want to know. It is important to calibrate your printer to get a proper and accurate print uh, because uh, without it, uh, the grips will not fit in properly. So both the handles are printed and they look really amazing as you can see. As we have used a PLA to print this part, the texture on the print was really important to have a good grip while riding the bike. So now we will put the handles on the bike. They work well and it provides adequate grip. I couldn't have hoped for anything better from a PLA print, but I will personally recommend if possible print with a flexible filament for a better grip. Still I find these particular grips to be really amazing and I think I will be using them for a long time. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want your part to be 3D printed, there will be a link down in the description. If you like 3D printing and if you want to watch more such 3D printing related content, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, like the video, share it. Thank you for watching.